Hello, friend, and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Chris Bennett, Rotterham, UK. Superficiality. Here's what I hear the Lord saying. Superficiality is killing so many churches, so many lives, so many people. You see the wrongs. You, you feel my pain in your spirit. You get righteously angry, yet you do nothing. Whose job is it to confront? Yet who looks at everyone else to do it? Who is called to stand in my authority, which I gave to you? Yet who hides from making the stance? Whose prayers are meaningless if all they do is talk about the problem, yet continue to act as if nothing is wrong? It's your responsibility. Yes, you. It's your concern. Your impassioned prayers. Even your preaching is superficial if you continue to do nothing, preferring to wait for someone else to act and do nothing. Yes, my prophets are to build up and tear down, but only as I direct them. They are to challenge and confront, but only as I direct them. When you see wrong, you challenge, you confront. Do not wait for my prophets to do so. You take some of the flack for doing so. Don't hide behind others. You have the authority. You have the victory. You have the courage and you have the responsibility. Yet remember my words. I am with you until the end of the age. Go. You go. You do it. Anything else is just reflecting the Laodicean church. Heavenly Father, Lord, we repent for our superficiality. Lord, we repent for putting you in a, in a tidy box that then we don't have to, to, to actually live out your promises or live out your, your commands, I should say. Lord, I pray that the, that the zeal would burn in our hearts, that, Lord, our lives would look materially different than the world's. Lord, that, that there would be brave souls, that my friend and I would be counted among those that would stand up, that would bring real meaning into churches. Thank you for those that already are. But, Lord, we pray for so many more. We pray for an increase in the fivefold ministry gifts. Lord Jesus, that there would be more apostles and prophets than there are today. And I thank you, Father, that we challenge and confront with love. We do it with humility. And Lord Jesus, we do it to speak your truth so that all may hear and all may believe. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.